All right, guys, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Sonic, guys, in today's video, man. I'm going to be teaching you guys on how you can possibly drop your very own first nuke here in my Warfare, guys, along with that, how to drop consistent nukes almost every single game that you play. Now, this, this video is dedicated to pretty much on how YouTubers are pretty much are able to get easy tactical new gameplays or possibly high kill gameplays all right so make sure you guys go ahead and watch the video all the way through guys by the way man 70 percent you guys are not subscribed to the channel man but you love watching model warfare videos man if you love watching Modern warfare videos in general or the best class setup or the best tips and tricks just to get better at model warfare or call of duty in general then go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys and drop a like on today's video man because we are so close to 20 000 subscribers all right now let's go get straight to it now no Number one guys number one tip is if you want to get your very own uh first new or possibly get a lot of kills in modern warfare listen it's very obvious guys number one it should be easily to, to know you must use your favorite class up use a class up that you always slay out with almost in every single game okay use that class up because because that class up is the only weapon you seem to do um good with almost every single time you play all right trust me guys i'm, I'm not kidding if you're a person who loves using the m41 then don't don't use the kilo what are you doing bro all right use the m41 just because you are good with using the m41 okay second thing is god this is very very important now I need you guys to try to invest in a one millisecond monitor, okay? A one millisecond monitor such as the BenQ or the Aces. The reason why um, Call of Duty pro players or Call of Duty country creators on YouTube use one millisecond monitors, guys, in general, just because we have a faster response time than majority of the players who play Call of Duty, they play on flat screen TVs, okay? So a person who plays on a flat screen TV um, is gonna have a slower response time compared to a person who is playing like on a one millisecond monitor such as i do along with other call of duty youtubers along with pro players all right so go ahead and keep that in mind guys number three choose your best sensitivity choose a sensitivity that, that works for you okay i know a lot of people may set this video on the best sensitivity but your sensitivity is all up to you okay let's get straight to the video guys i'm not gonna waste you guys time or anything like that now i dropped a triple nuke on the map of shoot house using all these tactics that i'm about to show you guys right now in today's video so make sure you guys go ahead and just watch the video all the way through just so you guys do not miss anything i want you guys to pay very very close attention because i want you guys to start dropping nukes like on the norm okay let's get straight to it all right now i'm playing shoot the reason why i'm playing shoot house guys is just because every single body every, but everybody everybody loves shoot house bro who doesn't love shoot house okay now another thing guys since we are playing shoot house, number one thing is number one thing you want to do right let's go ahead and go back real quick the, the number one thing you want to do right is start rushing the right side the right side of the map or the left side of the map okay the last thing you want to do i see it all the time i'm pretty sure you guys see it a lot too Every time you see a person that is playing shields, bro, nine times ten guys, they are probably on the top of the wall, you know, just waiting for somebody to come through. That boom, like that, they just get shot out of nowhere, or possibly they get flanked. All right, so you want to start off the game with rushing the outside of the map. This is how you get easy kills, okay? All right, let's get this. So I got that guy right there, okay? It looked like he had the same mindset as me, trying to rush around. Now there should be two kids at A, probably more, okay? There's only one. Now, the reason why we love rushing the right side of the maps, uh, let me go back real quick, okay? Because that was very, very huge. Now, the reason why you should rush the right side of the map is just because it, it won't it won't get you flanked, okay? I kid you not. Anytime somebody that that is that gets on top of the wall, they will probably get sniped or get flanked. They can die probably like two ways just because they're not looking to their, their left or the left side of them or the right side of them, okay? So we chose to rush this right side. I kid you not, guys, every time you rush the, um, the right side of the map or left side of the map, there will always be that one or two or more kids that is sitting on this wall trying to get an easy kill, okay? So we got that kid right here, right? And you see how we how you see how, how we quickly check this corner right here. The reason why the reason why we quickly check that corner right here just because um sometimes so, like sometimes there's still kids that are spawning right there and they just haven't moved yet or sometimes kids kids will purposely go to the back of the map and just camp just so they can get an easy kill off you all right so we heard but check the corners now as you see guys there will be the way on shoot how spawns work guys it is very very difficult but once you catch on to it you'll pretty much be a guy that plays shoot house all right so pretty much guys since we already killed that guy right there right nine times ten they're gonna probably be somebody who's gonna spawn right here in this corner right here or probably somewhere in these little middle in this little middle area okay let's get straight to it all right 
Yep, just like I said, guys. Now, this guy possibly, most like 9 out of 10, guys, he probably came from this area right here, so he just easily came around and tried to kill me, okay? But we got him, all right? We could have got a best bait. Look at that guy. See? You see what I'm talking about, guys? We just killed that kid on top of that wall, so now he is spawning right here in this little area over here in the middle of the map, all right? So we easily killed him. Nice. Now, if, if I am guessing it right, okay, since my teammates still capturing um, B and C, not time 10 guys i left i left a little bit of space on room for a just because i didn't catch it not time 10 guys they're gonna probably spawn somewhere right here in this little area over here okay so let's get straight to it got that kid slipping i barely got him but it still pay off nice now you see guys my any the enemy is pretty much capturing c and a flash so they are headed over here to, towards the middle area probably going to b or go around to uh the c flag okay Let's see. So I see that there are three kids right here, but there's one kid in this little corner right here. And I'm pretty sure my teammate doesn't see him just yet. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is just throw a C4. We're not going to even try to even rush that kid just because that guy can possibly have a shotgun. You guys need to, you guys need to start thinking about the gunfights that you're about to approach before anything happens, okay? Always think stuff out before you actually do it. Always pay attention to the mini map. Listen, listen guys. Map awareness is everything, bro. Map awareness is key. Once you guys, once you master um gun skill along with which is very very important um on um, spawns and all that to any map that you love playing, you will become a god, bro. You will get better. You will get noose like these YouTubers do. Trust me. I promise, guys. I I'm not going to catch you guys. All right. So there's a guy right here, right? Luckily, I'm taking my time to kill that kid. You see how? Let me go back to that real quick. Cause that's a, that's a huge point right there. All right. So, you see how I see that, that there's a kid right in the corner, right? So, I, I help and check the little right side to see if anybody was coming. There wasn't. So, I help and killed this guy right here, okay? Easy kills. So, my teammates are taking C right now, and the enemies are have, took, have taken A. So, there should be a lot of kids head to A right now, or at A. We got that kid right now. He's about to go towards the middle. There should be one more. We got that kid right there. Nice. So you see how the first thing we did, right, is was once we um let me jump right over here. Now you see guys the first thing that we did once we came back um to this little area right here. You see the first thing we did right was check the right corners just because I kid you got I kid you I kid you not guys that kids always spawn right here in this little area, bro. They always spawn in these little corners over here, sometimes right here where you really can't see them that much they always spawn there so always check your surrounding areas before you try to make like an aggressive push and anything like that hold on guys let me make sure that i'm actually recording just because I'm, I'm recording issues right now okay now let's get straight to it bro not waste you guys time anything like that all right so we killed that guy right here he just popped up out of nowhere okay we got him now you see how i constantly keep on checking my corners because kids always spawn there or they probably just wait for you to come just so they can get an easy flank kill off of you okay I'm trying to help you guys stop making mistakes just so you guys can um, stop choking nukes or get easy nukes in my warfare, all right? So, it's, it's kids catcher B. It looks like my teammate is clearing them off. Nice. Now, right here, guys. Now, this situation could have been, could have went wrong so fast. Now, if this guy, this guy response time was very, very fast enough, he could have easily just beat me off this little, um, this little eyes that I'm on right now, just because I am, I am, just because my body is exposed. He can easily shoot me whenever he wants or whatever, or probably get an easy kill off me. What I should have did, guys, if I was very, very smart, enough, luckily it paid off. What I should have did, guys, was shoot this kid first, just because he sees me. He doesn't see this guy that that, that this enemy is on head just right here. He sees me and only me. So what I should, so what I should have did right was hurry up and kill this kid right here that's that's looking at me and hurry up and kill this guy just to help my teammate. All right, but it worked out just because I'm using the M13, probably the fastest killing AR in Modern Warfare. All right, now I got my adventure V. I hurry up and call it. Okay. Boom, it's two kids right there. Easy kill. So once you get your adventure V up, guys, you want to start rushing, bro. Start rushing, bro. Like, you are an animal. Once you get the adventure V up, just start rushing them at full-blown speed, bro. Keep rushing just because, like, like, you know exactly where they're going to be at and all that. Now, let me pause the video right quick, real quick, okay? I'm going to be doing a lot of pauses so you guys can get, like, the like the clues and all that. Just so you guys get the idea. Now, right here, right... It is very, very important. Like I said, guys, don't get me wrong. It is very, very important that you always look at your mini map, but 
keep in mind what's going on in front of you just because some stuff can change now sometimes the adventure av or the uav can sometimes be misleading literally guys i low-key thought that um let me go back real quick let me go back real quick all right so we killed that kid, right? Literally, guys, you see me, I was about to start ADS right here, right? So because my invention AV is telling me somebody's right here, right? But honestly, actually, he's actually right here, okay? So I could have easily died just that fast just by me looking at the mini-map way, way too hard, okay? You guys want to keep on looking at the mini-map, but then hurry up and look at the gameplay, hurry up and look at the mini-map. Take, like, trust me, guys. I want you guys to watch your own, your favorite YouTuber play who plays multiplayer or anything like that. Watch how they play, guys. You're going to always see their eyes moving from left to right, left to right. Well, well actually, well, left, middle, left, middle, left, middle. Just because they are looking at the um, the mini map, okay? So, let's go ahead and take a look at this, all right? I got that kid right there. He could have easily just killed me if he wanted to. Easily. Now, you see right now, they are scattered by sea. I don't know what this guy was doing right here, but we killed him. So, that's very, very good. We're on a 17. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't catch a C or anything like that. So, they're, they're still spawning over there. Interesting. We got 19. This guy, this guy's one shot. Easy 20. Now look, guys, look, look. So, so one person gonna probably spawn an A. Yep, I, I know one person gonna spawn an A. So nine times ten, guys. Look, 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 guys. They are spawning right back at C just because my teammates, along with myself, I did not catch a C whatsoever. So once I left that area, or the case is, man, they immediately start spawning right back over there. Okay. So let's get straight back into it. Got that kid with a nice jump shot. Along with my support helo help. Got that kid with a nice jump shot. Nice. Now taking my time, guys. I always check this little. I always check this little off right just because there's always people um spawn over there sometimes or going in the little office just so they can hide. Look at that guy. You see, you see how they you said they keep on spawning that C? You see that guys? Pay attention to these spawns, guys. And a good way for you guys to get an idea where the enemies are spawning at, bruh, just look at it to see where your teammates are spawning at. If you see your teammates are, are at A, 9 times 10, guys, your enemies are at C. Vice versa, if your teammates are at C, the enemies could be at A. All right, let's get it. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you guys know on when you need to actually get an idea on what the um on what the um, spawns are like here in a little bit right now guys it is very very even just because my team is like catching a and b so it's very very easy to um get a clue on where people are spawning there all right let's get it man should be some it should be some more kids right here. i'm just checking my corners being very very safe look at this yep there's a guy right here got that guy right there my team is not paying attention so he died from a flank got that kid nice this is easy. So I'm checking more the middle. Got that kid right there. Nice. Now you see, guys, I'm 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 just, I'm just using my my objects to advantage, bro. I'm playing very very smart. I'm taking my time when I play. Okay. I'm trying to get my nuke. I'm in a fast pace right now. Easy, we got first nuke right there. If, if, if you if you already see that you like on like on like on a 15 or a 16 and the, and the game is nowhere to uh, be done, then just take your time. All right, just take your time. Okay. Patience is key. Okay. Facing this key. Look at that. We killed that guy with that. See, it should be more spun over here. Wait, wait, wait. So, some, some just switch up. Okay. So, some just switch up. Now, if you guys, if, okay, if you guys ever run into a situation like this, if you see that nobody took a C and you only, you only killed one kill over there, but nobody else is spawning, nine times ten guys that they're gonna probably spawn over. Here. Let me show you guys a little bit. Way more, way more better. Now, not time to tell you guys, they're gonna probably spawn right here in these little corners over here. Cause remind you guys, we did not catch an A. What's what well, not A? We did, we did not catch a C whatsoever. So they're gonna probably spawn probably much like right here in this area over here, over here. Or sometimes they can sometimes be right here, just wait for somebody to come out and run right past them. All right, but in this case, guys, people actually did come from right here, and it was actually right here trying to go to B. Okay. Easy flank kills, just like that. Easy two kills right at the bat. All right, there's a kid at A. So since so since I since I know that there's a kid at A, why would I try to push that good fight? So since I do have a C4 or something like that, where the case is, I just went on and threw my C4 at the guy. Who knows, guys? I could probably get um one or two more kills. Okay, just throwing my C4. All right, nice. Got a C4 kill right there. Look at this. Two more people left. Nice. Clear them out easy. We got our um, 
UAV up now. And look at that spawn, guys. They spawn right here. Once I got done clearing these people out, and and by the way, guys, C, well, we, we actually captured A flag and C flag. So pretty much, guys, these kids spawn right here on the left uh, side of the map. So, and also kids are spawn right here. So since I am right here to, to the closest to these enemies, I'm going to go ahead and just try to get some flank kills off of them if I can, okay? Now, these kids, they, they scatter off, but I'm going to get this kid right here who tried to go to C. Nice. And I got that kid right there, okay? So easy kills. And that's a, and this this is another thing, guys. Now, even though the distance was such a good gameplay just because I dropped a triple nuke, I could have easily died for one reason here. The reason why you do not want to rush the middle of the map right here, guys, is just because there's always that one kid. I kid you not. There's always that one kid who is looking right here. So if you feel like if you feel like, like if you feel like that you do need to, you know, cross map by well by going through the middle of the map, just jump on the other side or whatever the case is, make sure you guys look before you actually jump over. I could have easily got um killed from the back if if, um, if somebody was right there, okay? So we got this guy right there. Nice. Look at me right now. So, so, so actually, this guy did not see me whatsoever, but I see him. But I see that there are actually one and two people right here. One guy is actually on his head right here. Not trying to can't. Well, not times out of ten guy. He's probably um leaning, uh, uh, what about to or think he's about to get an easy kill off me or the case is. So look, guys. I hurry up and pre fight to see where this kid was at, just because he might been already on the on the lean or whatever. I couldn't um get that guy uh, quick enough, so what I did was help my what my, was was help my teammate right here who needs help because he having a hard time killing that guy. Easy, got him. Now went back around. Hold on, let's do a little let's do, let's do a little move. So I hear me pre fire. I only got a little bust on there. Help my teammate. Jump back, kill that guy. Just that simple. Now I got my support healer right now, guys. Now another thing, guys. Your score streaks or your kills or the cases is so so important. Now I need you guys to start running UAV support helo along with the advanced UAV. Now the UAV is obvious. You need to see where people are at, so call the UAV, okay? Support helo. <laughs> Excuse me. The reason why you want to run the support helo a lot, guys, is just because it is a distraction, okay? There's so many times where I've been on new streets and once I call it my support helo, uh, the enemy will literally, yeah, the enemy will literally take, will take their attention off of you just so they can shoot down your streets. Just by that, guys, you can get easy kills off them just because they're not even looking at you or anything like that, all right? So that's why you must run the UAV support helo along with the advanced UAV, okay? Very, very huge, all right? You almost got that kid right there. Got the kid in the office. Be mindful for that, guys. You, let me go back real quick. Be be mindful for that, guys. Sometimes when you rush around this, when, when, when we rush around this corner right here, there's always that one guy who could possibly be a sniper or maybe a sword for guy. Nine times ten, guys, he, he, he's gonna already have a um, lock aim side. He can easily just be. But luckily, we got an um, easy kill off that guy right there just by um, maneuvering it just a little bit. We got that guy right there. Nice. We're on a 13 right now. So we're, we're close to our double nuke. And look at that spawn, guys. They're still spawning at C. Easy. Now I'm using the M13, so it's very, very, um, it's very, very um easy to, it's very easy to kill my fastest. I ran out of ammo. Boom. Eat my C4, right? Nice. Now that teammate died. Well, that enemy died right there. I guess my teammate took me out. Look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that spawn, guys. Look at that spawn. You, uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Now, now, now you see it. Now you see it as soon. Let me, let me run that back. Let me run that back real quick. Hold on. That is very, very interesting. Now, as you guys see, once I did not catch a seat whatsoever or needed my teammates, as soon as, I, as soon as I try to leave the area, look, they all start spawning back there again. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Easy kills. Easy kills, bro. Pay attention to the mini map, guys, okay? Always, 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 always pay attention to the mini map, okay? Look, I, I could have got stuck right there trying to go through the middle. One of 24 right now. Got that kid right there. Boom. Nice job. So I could have easily died from that kid. Now, the only way, listen, guys. Now, the reason why I was able to pull this out. What, what, what I'm going to say. I'm going to say the cuss word. I, not trying to limit no ass. Now, the reason why I was able to drop shot that kid. Um, just because I knew that. I'm just, I knew easy that, that he was going to kill me if I, if I didn't. Listen, guys. 
on if, if, if you are if you're running to a person who is very very close up to you bro easy i promise you guys trust me just start drop shotting them bro drop shotting has been a move that almost every single call of duty person uses since like probably like marfa 3 or even bo2 bro it works a lot bro trust me bro you, you can really abuse the mess out of drop shotting bro trust me I, th I think i'm gonna do it here a couple times in this video i'm not too sure yet but you guys will see now look at this look at this guys there should be still kids at c most likely yep there's a kid right there little coin right there easy kill you see that guys how i'm just i'm just playing very very conservative bro i'm just i'm just taking my time not rushing it we already got we already got first nuke okay we can't play smart the guy right here start pre firing that guy was paying attention we easy drop we easy drop shot just in case we go around this corner Look at this, my headset coming to play here, kid. Boom, easy kill. Let's get it. So, that, so that's our double nuke right there. Okay. So we did get a triple nuke in today's gameplay. Well, this gameplay you're about to see it right now, actually. So there's a guy right here in the little corner. Can I get him? Nice. Down with an easy C4 kill. So smoke being thrown. So I help it flank that guy right there. Can't get the kill off? Nah, I did it. So I just ran away. Listen, guys. There's sometimes where you, where you do want to engage in a gunfight, and there's sometimes where you don't want to engage in a gunfight. A situation like a situation like that, like where, like where there's smoke on a certain flag, and you know you're a sub that you cannot see, unless, unless you have like a thermal optic, or the case is, man, just run away, bro. It's not worth it, okay? Just run away from the gunfight, all right? And try to find something that's more easy to get. So look at that guy. We're checking our right side. You see how that guy spawned the corner again? Look at this guy. Oop. Now, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ho hopefully, I didn't die right there. Now, you see, guys, once this guy spawned right, well, once this guy right spawned the corner right, we easily picked them off, right? And two people are right here, guys. We killed one over here that shot a run out. We got him. And look at this guy. I easily checked just a quick. I I'm pretty sure somebody, somebody, got, somebody got a time stamp. I'm going to try to catch it. If I can, it's whatever. Now, you see, guys, th th there was an enemy right there to the left of me, but I did not know to the last minute. So, 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 so since I was able to catch onto it very, very quick, where the case is, I hear up and slid to this heady and easy just beat him. And I know, I still know there's somebody right here. So, boom, easy kill, right? There was actually two of those people, but we still managed to pull that off. Now, this is where you need to start mastering your map awareness. Now, if you guys are looking at the mini map, the mini map right now, guys. We have a count UAV on our head, so at this at this point in four, I need to start playing like a little bit, like just a tad bit slow, and um try to um figure out you know where are these kids are spawning at. Okay, so just just watching what I do just to avoid a situation. Okay, so I keep on checking. What? Well, yep. You see how kid is spawning left right here? Let's let's keep going. Okay, keep going. All right, should be a kid at C. Yep, got that kid right there. It's one more. Look at this guy right here. Easy, nice, nice guys. You see how you see how I was using my object to my to my advantage, guys, just so I won't get shot at or it won't be seen or anything like that. Easy kill. I always check this little area right here, guys. This this little um this little office area. I always check that area. We got that kid right there. Nice. Now we now we now we got our advanced UAV. Okay. I don't have to call if I want to, but I just did or whatever. Easy kill. Another guy just spawned in that little corner. Nice. My teammate is clearing him out. My teammate is about to get attacked. Nice. Easy kill. But trust me, guys, man. I promise you guys, I'm not kidding. I was once terrible at this game, guys. But once I start, you know, practicing, you know, start um, um playing private match a lot, start shooting bots a lot, start getting a feel on where the spawns might happen at on certain maps it instantly made me i feel like probably like a, like a better player okay so i need you guys to go ahead before you guys start any type of game where the case is i need you guys to start shooting uh bots or whatever just so you guys can, can warm up your hands or anything like that wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa. this this was op hold on guys let me make sure i'm actually recording bro because sometimes the recording be messing up and stuff like that all right now let's get straight to it because this, this was very very huge they happen right here Yep. Now this is very, very huge. A situation like this always goes on in Call of Duty, but I'm going to teach you guys the brains behind it. All right. Now you see, guys, there's two people right here. This, this third person, I don't, I don't know if he's going to intervene with me yet. All right. So, so let's go ahead and get straight to it. 
Now, as you see, guys, there is two people right here. This guy just got out of a whole animation, and the first thing he tried to shoot at was me, but he actually shot at the wall. So easy, guys, what I did, right, was hurry up and drop shot. Now, if you guys do not know yet, if you see that there is one person behind that, well, if you if you see that there is one person um, behind the player that you are trying to shoot at where the case is, nine times ten, guys, they don't even see you just because his teammate is blocking um is is blocking him from seeing you over the cases all right so easy kill right there bro that, that, that was a nice drop shot kill easy kill right here nice you see how i was checking the mirror right here just see somebody was over there it's a guy right here i heard him before i even seen him drop shot look at that nice luckily that luckily luckily that guy was, was in the corner or else he would have killed me but the object was in the way look at that nice Still checking my corners. All right, so I'm cut by my new guy. So I'm trying to rush just a little bit just because I know that I'm very, very close and the time is about to end for this game. Look at that guy right there. He's trying to camp. Even though, even though I am playing smart or whatever the case is, bro, I'm still I'm still on pay attention to like the mini map and what's going on. Just because stuff is stuff is constantly changing. Look at that guy. The kid is at A. Easy kill. It's another guy right here. Look at this. Easy slide. He didn't even see me right there. Jump back up. Nice. I'm one off the I'm one off the nuke right here, guys, for my triple nuke. I got his went that way. Am I gonna chase him? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him. Easy kill. Just like that, guys. We got a triple nuke, bro. I hope this guy, I hope this video was very, very helpful to you guys. Cause I want you guys to start dropping nukes um more daily, more consistently in my warfare. Hopefully, this video can probably get you guys probably your first nuke. Look at this guy. We still going off, all right. I need you guys to start going crazy, bro. Okay? Play your favorite map. Use your favorite class setup, bro. GG, man. That was a good gameplay. <laughs> that was a good gameplay. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you really did enjoy today's video, man, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, and drop a like to today's video, guys. Make sure you guys are ringing the notification bell just so you guys get where it's my upload and all that. And yeah, guys, it's your boy Sutter, man. But catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.